It is Friday. Has it been a week for y'all? It has been a week for sure. Definitely. We, uh, we're almost at the end of it though, so that's okay. Very close. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> we can make it a couple more hours or we'll that's, have it look. That's it. You got something new? I do. So this has been out uh, probably about a month. I know some dealers, um, have already had them on their truck uh, and we've had ours on the truck and i don't know we uh forgot about it i guess yeah so somebody was talking about it yesterday so i grabbed it and wanted to put it on the video it is a power probe uh i still call it a test meter um so there's got some cool features on this one so we're actually going to open it up okay. and look at it um, one of the cool features on this one here is it's actually got guided test. Um, one of the biggest things about a meter um, is, I mean, they're all different. Everybody's used to a fluke. Um, but there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. And if you do it the wrong way, you find out real quick because you blow a fuse or something else. Right. Um, so this one here does have a few guided features. And it does come with the clamps. Of course, it does have... Some cables here and then it also comes with these cables here with clamps okay. and you can see here that it's actually got it to where they go in all of them so we're not confused on which hole those go in for sure so we'll cut it on here it's bigger than i thought it would be it is a little bit bigger so we do have your normal um we you pretty much used to seeing all of these um, we can flick through them, but the first thing you're going to see when you go to the, the amps here is we have fused current and we, then we also have inline. We flick here. We have the AC-DC voltage, so we can use just like a regular test wow. voltage. Or we can go over to the cranking test. We can go to the alternator test. And then we're back to the AC-DC. Of course, we have the ohms. And then we have the frequency. Cool. So we're going to go back and we're going to pretend like we were going to do one of these. Let's just say we were going to do the cranking test. Obviously, we're not cranking anything, so we're not going to make it just too, too far in the test. But as you can see, it tells you to hook your clamps onto the battery. And then once you do that, it's going to test. It's going to show you the voltage and then it's going to walk you through the next step right. of the process. Um, we'll change it off of that and go back. Let's say we were going to do the alternator test. Well, uh, maybe I did the same test twice. Hold on. Uh, yeah, of course you got to put your clamps on. Say we're going to do the inline. It's going to tell us where to put our leads. That's a big, big thing that we have some confusion on. Some of the meters is which one do I put them on. So it does have the guided test. Uh, I don't know if they can see it real good. or. But That's pretty cool right there. It is pretty cool. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to read the, the specs off the back of it so everybody can kind of get a little bit of a deal here and I'll turn it there so AC DC voltage um, it tells us here the the range is there of course your cranking test 12 24 alternator test same your fuse inline it gives you all of those um, and then here it just kind of tells you what they do uh, measures current flowing through the fuses without removing the fuse up to 80 amps um, that's Right. That's, that's going to be a lot on a car. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah. your main fuse may be a little more than that, but obviously, uh, you're usually not able to check the the main fuse anyway because it's glass, it's got covers over it. But fuse voltage drop. Of course, we talked about the guided automotive test. AC DC voltage measures up to a thousand volts. Current measures up to thirty, and then of course it does your regular there. So if you're interested in a meter and you you want the uh, alternator testing or the cranking testing um, give it a shot see if you like it um, they seem to be uh, really cool popular right now you know took the time to um, show you how to hook the leads up right day. well when we talked to them uh, at expo they were telling us about this that it was in the making and that they were going to do it but you know it's just like the actual regular power probe Right. If you don't know what you're doing with that thing, oh, yeah. it's you a great test. Some stuff. But if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to mess something up. Right. Well, it's the same way with these meters. The, the, the 
the biggest thing that we get with the meters is they bring it to us and they tell us that they're trying to do a test. It doesn't work. The first thing we look at is the fuse and the fuses pop. And they're like, well, I don't know how that happened. Yeah. Normally somebody either has the uh, lead in the wrong spot or they tried to check amps with the current going through it and everything else. So there's several different things. So this is supposed to walk you through it, keep that from happening, kind of make the electrical process a little easier. Yeah. Um, so it is a little bit bigger than your most of your meters, mm -hmm. um, but got a lot going on in there. It does man. have a lot going on in there. <laughs> so um, I think when I last checked, we had actually sold through them once and had to order them again. So. We haven't sold ours because we actually put it on a shelf and forgot about it, so I hadn't even talked about it. But uh, <laughs> well, it's a cool rig, man. And it also comes. I didn't even see these in there until just now. It looks like they come with uh, a couple other little test leads and stuff oh, yeah, too. Probes. So, and I would advise uh, you definitely ain't gonna know how to work it after I just talked about it there uh, that quick. So it does One come. One thing with, I have to give Power Pro props on. What's they that? do a great job if you go to their youtube oh yeah like those guys do a fantastic job of showing you how to work all their products yes yeah. they really do a good job they do that. it's just getting that uh you know they say men don't read instructions yep it's just getting that out of it um of course it comes with an instruction book there um but we all know we're probably not going to read that but like you said there's definitely um always on youtube or something mm -hmm. you can go there and and they'll do a really good job at explaining it it does come in a really nice case i do like that so yeah. be able to keep up with all the accessories and everything else so if you do a lot of electrical or want to get into electrical definitely take a chance on it what's that part number on that box uh looks like dm 300 auto Okay. So that's the box that it comes in. It's a pretty nice little box. Well, have you guys got to try the new high torque stubby Milwaukee out, the M12? I haven't got to try it out because everyone we got in sold. And uh, the, I, it seems like, um, I think we were actually, I think Milwaukee let us be the first one with those. Right. Um, and of course we sold through it just bam. And we may not, I, they may have already released it all the way out now. Um, and we're still waiting on some that we got mm -hmm. ordered. So, um, I know Joe had one the other day. Yeah. So they are out half the and then he got the three eighths version in, but they did a good job with those. Yeah. I saw a Maco distributor had like 18 or 19 of them and he literally sold through them in three days. So he That's did the good. right thing there and bought, bought <laughs> as many good. as he could when he could get them. Uh -huh. um y'all still got any more of your pink stuff in no i did see um there was a couple of distributors talking um i think they've secured a few more of the toolboxes so we might get the one that we ordered there um and some other stuff um i think it's supposed to start coming in at next week is what i had read but I had just read that. And I'm also gonna leave you this flyer here. Okay. Um, so, you know, we do a couple of different things, but they're actually also gonna donate um, from 1026 to 1117, any of this red here that sells, um, they're actually gonna donate some to the American Heart Association. Oh, that's good. Um, so there's several different items on there to pick through, be able to get it on sale and, and be able to donate to a good cause. I'm going to tell you, I got one of those little flip mates. I bought the blue one like that. Yeah. Have you tried one of those? I have I have ordered a couple for, I've got a shop that really loves them. I've ordered they a couple for them. They are freaking awesome. Yeah. Dude. I know they lost, uh, one of them lost it within a couple of weeks and they bought another one. And then uh, another guy just earlier this year ordered one uh because he had lost his it's not a lot that you lose and yep. you're like well i'm not you know it's it must be good if they're the only complaint that i have with that whole lot like i like every feature about it except they put the micro usb charger on it instead oh, of yeah. putting a us like i don't understand anybody building a lot in 2024 and not putting usb c on it that's like building a tv and not having it into a smart tv like, yeah it makes no sense 
but that, that's a very small complaint to have <laughs> yeah. but it's a great light like yeah it's small enough you can put in your pocket i like the fact that you can set it up anywhere you want and the way that it articulates you can have light from any angle it's a really good light so i don't know if it's just the way my kids treat the chargers but it seems like i have more tr trouble out of the USB-C right now than I really? did out of the other ones. Like the cords tearing up or the actual plug part? The actual end of it. It'll get loose and then, but oh, now okay. listen, I have, my kids are not easy on anything. Um, like when it's time to unplug, it's just snatch. You know, and they yeah. think they have to be on it while it's charging. So that cord's getting bent and everything yeah. else. So it, it, that's what I said. It's probably my kids, but. I do oh. like it, but I'm going to tell you the smartest thing is like Matco with that Pro Charge system, oh, yeah. that wireless charge. That is great. Yeah. Like, absolutely great. <laughs> yeah. I like that system a lot. But. Pretty pretty nice system. Yep. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with us on this Friday. Hopefully you liked it. And if you did, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. You have a great one. See ya.